Hi, my name is Jessica Visconti. I'm an expressive arts therapist and I'd like to welcome you to my third video with Bristol Community College's Office of Student and Family Engagement. Um, so these are our creative grounding groups this semester and they're here to help students connect and learn a little bit about mindfulness and expressive arts and how they can use that as time for themselves to um, reflect and just um, take a little break. So to get started, just find a place that you're gonna be able to do this meditation. It's about 15 minutes. Um, so a place that you hopefully won't be interrupted and can be somewhat quiet, um, whatever that kind of looks like with what you have. Um, and you can either do this seated or on the ground or on your bed, wherever is going to be the most comfortable place for you. Um, so just take a minute to get to where you need to be and just start to start to land. Notice the points of contact between your body and whatever you are sitting on or supported by and start to notice how you're breathing um, and just take a second to slow down. So begin by taking a moment to be aware of any thoughts or feelings you may be experiencing right now, acknowledging how things are for you, and when you're ready, beginning to bring awareness to the body, feeling your feet, legs, hips, lower and upper body arms, shoulders, neck, head, beginning to feel the movement of your breath. The actual sensations of breathing, reminding yourself that you are here, you're alive and whole. When you're ready, bring to mind the image of a person who you know or you've known in your life to be loving and kind to you. Someone who easily evokes feelings of warmth and love. It could be a partner or a family member or mentor or a close friend. Someone who has been good to you and helps you feel safe and whole. Whose caring easily emanates from them to you. If a person, past or present, doesn't come to mind, maybe someone who you know to be inspirational might come instead. Someone it is easy to imagine sending wishes of well-being to, wishing them well, and if it feels right, imagine saying to them, may you be happy, healthy, and whole. Picturing them receiving your wishes for them. May you have love, warmth, and affection. May you be protected from harm and free from fear. May you be alive, engaged, and joyful. May you experience inner peace and ease. You may have your own words and wishes for them, so feel free to use words that resonate with you. Taking a few minutes now to feel how it is to wish these things for them, letting yourself have the sense of the wishes for well-being emanating from you to them, connecting you to them. Noticing how it feels inside you as you send these wishes of well-being to this person you love or care about. When you're ready, 
seeing if you can imagine this person or figure wishing these same things for you. Knowing that you have your well-being in their heart, imagining them saying to you, may you be happy, healthy, and whole. May you have love, warmth, and affection in your life. May you be protected from fear and free from harm. May you be alive, engaged, and joyful. May you experience inner peace and ease. Letting these feelings wash over you, feeling their unconditional love and caring for you, letting the feelings of love and safety grow, knowing there is nothing you have to do to deserve these feelings and wishes, that they are freely given without condition. Seeing if you can connect to the meaning of these phrases, even if you might not feel all the safety and warmth right now, knowing that it is their wish for you, and now seeing if you can have these wishes for yourself. Hearing yourself say, may I be happy and healthy and loved. May I be safe and protected. May I be alive and free. May I experience inner peace and ease. You may have loved ones. You may have loved ones for whom it's also easy to have these wishes for. A friend, a family member, a child, or even a pet. And if it feels right saying to them in your own way, with your own words, may you be happy, healthy, and loved in your life. May you be safe, protected, and not suffer. May you be alive and joyful. May you have inner peace and ease. If it feels right, seeing if there are others in your life, you can extend these good wishes to a friend, a coworker, a neighbor, saying to yourself and to them, may you be happy, healthy, and loved in your life. May you be safe, protected, and free from harm. May you be alive and joyful. May you have inner peace and ease. It might even be possible to expand further out to acquaintances, people you know but don't have a personal relationship with, people you see around town, your neighbors, or even people you don't have strong feelings about like the salesperson who checks out your groceries saying to these people, May you be happy, healthy, and loved. May you be safe, protected, and free from suffering. May you be alive, engaged, and joyful. May you have inner peace and ease. And even if these wishes aren't infused with the same warmth and love as they were for a loved one, seeing if you can extend the wish without the expectation that it should make you or them feel any particular way, connecting with what these wishes represent, keeping these people in your awareness as you send these good wishes, wishing for them to be healthy and whole, wishing for them to have aliveness and love in their lives. And if you feel strong and secure and you're comfortable with this, you might try extending these wishes to someone who's difficult for you right now. Not necessarily the most difficult person in your life, just someone for whom there's been a sort of frustration or misunderstanding. In doing this, it might be, it might help to remember that just like you, they want to be loved. And just like you, they want peace in their life you could say to yourself, 
just like me. They want to feel happiness and joy. Just like me, they want peace and ease. They want to be loved and to know their loved ones are safe and healthy. And just like me, they are doing the best they can with what inner and outer resources they have. And if this feels possible, silently saying to them, may you feel peace and ease. Remembering that if this was really true for them, they would certainly be easier to get along with. May you have love and warmth in your life. May you be happy, healthy, and whole. Even if this is difficult, there is value in noticing what it's like to extend the wish, recognizing that you are not to, that you are not condoning their actions, but seeing in them a human being with some of the same needs as you. To be loved, to be safe, to be at peace. If this is possible, remembering the circle that began with yourself and the person you love most, family and friends, extending the circle to include all of the many people that you don't know who may live far away in other countries, be parts of other cultures, saying, may you be happy and healthy. May you have peace and ease. May you have love and warmth in your life. You can even imagine extending these wishes to include animals and plants and all life on our planet and beyond, including ourselves saying, may we all be happy and healthy. May we all be safe and protected. May we all live together in peace, ease, and happiness. And now, as this loving kindness meditation comes to an end, taking time to appreciate and feel what's been generated through this practice. And even if there have been difficult parts of this practice, knowing that this practice has the potential to increase your sense of aliveness, connection, and of belonging. And if you didn't feel any of those specific things, knowing that by completing this practice, you were able to take time for yourself and honor yourself and the love and hope and care that comes in that alone. And when you're ready, letting yourself feel again your physical presence, sensations of your body, feet, seat, torso, neck and head, beginning to notice the movement of your own breath, bringing aliveness and nourishment to your body as a whole, just as your wishes of good will bring aliveness and nourishment to those around you. And whenever you are ready to move out of that space, um, I invite you to do some writing, whether that is a free write in your journal or um, another type of reflection. It could also be drawing or movement. The specific um, reflection that I offer is from Passion Planner from their website. It's a free um, resource you can download. They have a bunch, but this one is specific to self-care. Um, and I'm going to have it linked below 
there is um, the first part is kind of almost similar to uh, Mad Lib where you're filling in the blank different pieces of your self-care boundaries people you can reach out to if you need help um, it also offers a way to identify certain needs at the bottom um, and then the second page has a self-care kit and some reflection questions and the idea is certainly that you're not doing all of these right now unless you have time and you'd like to but more so maybe just picking one as a way to close your practice for today.